Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a brand new eyeshadow palette from Primark. So I recently shared with you this palette in a haul. It is of course the PS Nudes eyeshadow collection and yeah really really excited about this. This is only £8. Now I shared with you a palette also from the Nudes collection but it had a cardboard um, yeah, cardboard palette, and that was £4 for nine shadows. This has got 28 shadows for £8. I just think it's amazing value. You've got a mixture here of mattes, shimmers, foils. You've got lights, mediums, darks. You've got everything in here, and it's a plastic palette. I just think it's amazing value. So when you look at the inside, like I say, I'll give you a close-up, but it's just amazing love the colors love everything about this palette and uh, couldn't wait actually to share with you a trial now of course i've got my hair off my face so that um, i can share with you this tutorial and so that you can see a little bit more clearly um, what i will say is that i've actually missed a step with my foundation um, no with my makeup today i actually missed the liquid primer from Makeup Revolution and I can already see a difference with my makeup today. Um, under my eyes is a little bit more dry. Um, my makeup as a whole looks dry and in the winter, especially now with in the UK, we've had this snow um, again. Um, it's a lot more colder and your skin dries out that much more quickly. And I feel that without that primer at the moment, my skin is just so dry, even though I'm moisturizing morning and night but that product is just so amazing and I thought I'd just mention that um, if you are wanting to try that it is just an absolute well I'm loving it at the moment and it's really doing wonders for my skin um, but getting back to the um, tutorial so of course I'm going to be using the Primark PS contour brush of course what else <laughs> I absolutely love that brush and I'm looking at the shades and thinking what should I start with and I think I'm going to have to go in with this shade here so that one there um, looks a very good mint tone brown shade so I'm going to just pop my brush in there now the shades are very much um, the formulation feels when I pop the brush in it feels very much like the um, nine pan eyeshadow palette that I shared with you it does kick up some product but as from that tutorial and that try on it is such a good palette even with the kick up so let's see how this applies now for some reason I've got a little bit of glitter on my eye oh there has it gone yeah that's better So yeah, very, no, the glitter's still there. Ah, no, it's gone. Um, very pigmented. I was a little bit concerned that this shade was going to be a little bit too light and there is a deeper brown in there and I thought that's going to be too deep. But that has worked perfectly as a transitional shade. So I just do the same on the other eye. Perfect. Really like that. Um, with the other palette, the nine pan palette, these really have got staying power. Um, yeah, really, really love the staying power. Love the formulation. Um, didn't irritate my eyes at all. Um, yeah, really, really lasted very, very well. And in fact, it looked as good when I removed it as when I applied it. So now I'm just running that first shade all the way under my eye, just to give me a little bit of a base, but I really love this colour. Beautiful shade to start off with. Lovely. Now I'm going into a deeper shade and I really want to try this shade here. So it's that one there. 
I just can't get over the price of this. I just think it's absolutely amazing value. Now I'm just going to pop this in the outer corner and a little bit of the crease just to start deepening that up. side. Now I really want to actually add a little bit of the pink. I really love that shade so I'm just going to apply that. And I'm now going in with, and this colour is right in the middle, and it's that one there, and I really, really love it. It looks like a dusky rose. So let's see how it translates on the eye. Now I'm popping that all through the crease as well. love that. I should probably have put the pink on first before I went in with the brown shade but never mind or the second shade but that's absolutely fine. I just love that pink colour so, so much. Love it. Now I'm going to go back in with that brown shade. Now as with the other palette, the first palette that I tested out, um, they blend very, very nicely together. There's no problem at all with the blend. I mean, I've put quite a number of, um, you know, layers on already. Um, and it's just working very, very well. There's no problem. I want a little bit more of that brown this side. Now I'm just going to run the brush underneath. going to get some of that pink and I'm running that underneath. Love that. So the colours have really blended together really well, exceptionally actually. Um, like I said, there is kick up. The kick up is on all of the shades. It's not, I wouldn't say it's, you know, there's a lot, um, but it is exactly like the first shade, um, sorry, the first palette. <clears throat> um, yeah, exactly like that one. Now what I've got to do is think about what colour I want to put on the lid. And I think I'm going to go in with this colour here. I'm just going to blow away the, because it's plastic, it actually cleans up quite nicely and the excess that's fell off um, or you know just kicked up really does it cleans up very nicely I'm going to pop this one on that's what I actually find a little bit tricky about the is that a matte? yeah no it is a shimmer um, with these card palettes sometimes once they get a little bit messy it's a little bit difficult to actually clean them up but with this one you know whatever happens with it you're going to be able to clean it up which is great so I'm just going to pop that, that beautiful pink on the lid just 
just going back to the first brush. Blending those two together to make sure that it is well blended. You can't see the line in the middle. I'm just also getting my PS Pro shading eye brush and I'm just going into that same lid colour, that beautiful pink colour and just making sure that it goes right into the centre there. Well, not the centre, right into the corner. What am I saying today? Like that. Now it's not that pink shade. I mean, there are more foil shades in particular. Um, this one here looks very foiled. Um, this one is a shimmer shade, but it's not full on shimmer. And I really like the fact that they've um, put different, you know, different degrees of shimmer in the palette. I'm going to get that shimmery shade, that really intense shimmer from the bottom corner. Just going to pop that in the outer corner, just to inner corner rather. <laughs> Um, just to try that one out. And the other side. It's also got little bits of glitter in it as well. really like that and it gives a nice effect as well um, so that is the eye look all done using the new nudes collection from Primark really love that really love how they've blended together in particular um, yeah love that it's quite an intense eye look but I wanted to put on, a, you know, a number of the shadows um, just to test them out and to share with you what they can actually do. Do they blend together? So they really do. I mean, there's, you know, four or five layers on there now and it's worked really well together. Um, yeah, love it. Beautiful. I love the colour of the lid shade as well. I think it really complements the um, the deeper and brighter shades that are on the especially the outer corner there absolutely love that um, also I wanted to mention my lip color now yesterday when I shared with you the try-ons of the four um, lipsticks from the nudes collection as well the very very first shade I tried it on in the video as a, a standalone lipstick um, I've got it on today with the NYX lip liner in natural in fact I put the um, lip liner all over my lip and then I just popped the lipstick um the really light shade i can't it was it uncovered uncovered i think it was called and i just applied that and it works so much better it suits me a lot better um i think the first shade although it's a beautiful shade and i absolutely love it um as with a lot of light shades i really need a lip liner but i really love it with the lip liner i think it also works very well with the eye look love it beautiful so of course i would really love to hear your thoughts on this palette um i know a lot of you have gone for the smaller one and a lot of you then obviously have purchased this one as well so if you have purchased this i'd love to hear your thoughts on it um i mean i'd love to hear your thoughts on the smaller palette as well if you've been really enjoying that in fact i'd love to hear your thoughts on the nudes collection as a whole i've really been impressed with it i can't wait to visit another store at the end of this this week to see if I can actually get the highlighter kit. Um, also, there's um, some other products that I'd really, really love to get my hands on. And of course, if I do, I will be sharing those with you. If there is anything from the collection that I shared in my hauls as well, there was two hauls. If you do want to see any of those products in action, do let me know. And of course, I will share a video uh, with you of those as well. But I really love the look for today. I think it blended really well. Love the colours. 
and yeah really really impressed so um, if you also have just stumbled across my channel of course I would absolutely love it if you subscribed to watch further videos and until tomorrow thank you so so much for watching thank you bye